The gun them can park, you know. Yeah, man, the gun them can lock up, bro. This one have a gun, that one have a gun, and when it was Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, here we are again Big Stone, the forum is in the streets and you know I'm speaking directly to my Jamaican people I'm speaking directly to my Jamaican youths I speak directly to the shatters them, gunmen, people who consider themselves killers. Now, you tell you this is Big Stone coming to you again. And I'm coming to you because there's this feeling in my heart for you. I think about every single youth that passed away. I've been to many, many funerals that I'm tired, I'm sick, I'm tired of having to go to another funeral. And every day my phone ring, I get invited to yet another funeral youth and youth the gun them can park you know yeah man the gun them can lock up brethren you know why the gun them for park may i listen to the news the other day me about 360 rounds of ammunition that was found by the police and then after the mayhem them find 800 odd spent shell between me and your youth and youth we know the whole lot of money that you know and not to mention the body counts that goes with that. There's a lot of youth are being killed. Four shot and kill uh, on the Maxill Avenue area. Three shot and kill in Montego Bay. Hours apart. What is happening, youth? We understand that something is happening. There's an outside force. There has to be an outside force because it is totally impossible, ladies and gentlemen, for youth and youth that went to school together eat it of the same pot together, play the same marble game together, is end up killing each other and sometimes for no just reason at all. I was talking to one of my brethren the other day and he was a prominent youth within the community, a Rasta man like myself. And in reason with that Rasta man, a man who has been in wars upon wars upon wars and many occasions, you know what he told me? He said, Big Stone, it is time for this madness to end. But how can we end this? How can we end this madness when somebody on that side is of the fact that somebody on this side killed their father five years ago? Somebody on this side is of the fact that somebody on that side killed a sister or a mother or a son two years ago. How do we stop this? How do we take away this, this memories? A pain that has been struck with our youths. And I said, there's no easy way out of nothing in our my brethren. But we have to make an effort. We have to try something. And you know what he said to me? He said, most of the time, most of these young youths clutching these expensive guns, a 9mm, a AK-47, a M16, most of the time, Big Stone, they're poor and broke. Sometimes they're hungry. Sometimes the time at which they find a shot, no food in them belly. So what are we fighting for? What are we fighting for if, we, if we're not fighting for food? Another time he looks at me and said, Big Stone, you know, plenty of time. Some of the Zeus wants to give this up, to stop firing guns and so on. But there's no alternative. There's no alternative measures. The community centers are closed. There's nothing for the inner city youths to gravitate to other than violence and when they do violence where does that put them they can't even go out to beg a man something because they're surrounded by violence and chaos so you tell you this one is directed to you you know this i started out the program with uh peter touch peace treaty 
everyone that participated that I know except Edward Siaga is the only one that is alive. Maybe there are others, but as far as I'm concerned, the only one that I can know that was prominent up front that is still alive today is Edward Siaga. Most of the young brothers are dead and gone. Some of them are forgotten except for their own family members who keep remembering them. I miss John and Paul and Stuart and so on. These memories keep coming back. So you tell you in Jamaica, where do we go? Where do we go from here? We appeal to the government, we ask the government to set up the infrastructure. You're spending billions of dollars in trying to catch criminals. And this is, you know what it is doing? It is creating more criminals because there's no money in the inner city community. No project now go on, not now go on for sustain life in the inner city communities. And then sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, the press, what they report about these inner city community, create more problems and havoc for some of these young brothers, especially for those who are not doing anything. Peace treaty, me not like peace treaty. You know what Big Son wants now? Equal rights and justice for the youth them. We tired of signing the peace treaty because Peter Church said every man will sign the peace treaty dead. You hear me I say? Him say every man will sign the peace treaty dead. Me tired of going to youth funeral rasta. Yes man, me tired of it. Some young prominent youth being killed. 16, 15, 25, 30. You know, 60, 63. These are all still young men. I am 60, I'm still a young man. So youth and youth, I know the, you're left with act, practically nothing, man. And that's why I want you to keep watching my program for hope, man, because we're looking for solutions for you. We're not just sitting here like one of those vloggers and run up our mouth, man. We're taking it to the streets with you. We're standing there with you, youths, because I know many of you from every inch and crevice and parts of Kingston. I know you. I know you know me too. I want to know if you live, youth. Every time me say some you dead, I don't care where you come from. Every time me pick up the newspaper and read, and hear say some you dead, something in my heart move. Every time me pick up the phone and hear say some you get shot, something in a, it does something to me. You all are killing me. And I know you wouldn't do anything personal to me when you see me, but you're still killing me. You're killing me. You tell you, brethren. Life is beautiful, man. Even if you don't have the money, it's still beautiful. But the government, I'm beseeching, I'm begging onto you. Set up the more infrastructure so the youth can survive. You understand? Elders pay more attention to the youths than man. Talk to them. Don't talk about them youths. Oh, well, them youths are animal in a big zone. Them youths can't tame. What are you saying to me? You're giving up. You can't give up in this time, brethren. You cannot. You cannot give up in this time, man. Time is short, man. So think about it, brothers and sisters. Think about it. For you outside there, get a hold of your next of kin, your relative. Call them more often. Get them involved. For young youths to get off the internet, the Facebook, the Twitter, the chatter. That is occupying your mind. Think about how you can get out of this hell house that they put you in. You're in a hell house, man. So think about how you're going to get out. Not even three million of us on this island, man. And well over 900 plus. 900 whole leap have lost their lives. My brethren, Patrick Romans, the other day was telling me, Big Stone, what are we going to do for these children? And I said, Mr. Romans, you're a Rasta man like myself. And he said, only Rasta can do it in a Big Stone. And I agree with Patrick Romans. Only Rasta can do it. So you see all the Rasta man out there? Remember, we start this love and this liberty and Rasta is love, you know. Unite Rasta man, unite. Come together Rasta man. And take up the mantle and take this country, Jamaica. Rasta can do it. Because the people have lost trust in the police department, the Jamaica Defense Force, the, the politicians. They have lost interest in all these people. Because as Peter Tut says, all who signed the peace treaty 
is resting in peace in the cemetery. Me no want that for more Jamaican Rasta. More they have them come together, love each other, respect each other. Want to be your next door neighbor. Don't envy each other. Have no grudge against your brothers. Love one another. This is a beautiful country. This country belongs to each and every one of us. I love this country so much, man. I've been given the opportunity to live all over the world. And I refuse these opportunities because I want to live here with you. I ain't going nowhere. Big Stone ain't going nowhere, man. I don't want to go nowhere. I want to stay here with you. So they start to love each other, man. Start to pay attention to each other. Be a next door neighbor. Protect our little girls, our little boys. Protect them, man. Do what you gotta do. Do what you must do to save this island, man. Big stone, I beg the item in my brother. I beg the item in my brethren. See, sir? Uh, so. I'm going to listen to a piece more, Peter touching up. And did you know all the Rasta can rule this? You hear that? Big Stone love each and every one of you. Know. Do you remember the peace treaty? In a kill some city. That peace. Them sign in a kill some city. This one have a gun, that one have a gun, and when it busts, run with the gun. I love you, man. I love you from my heart, and I want you to live. See, to rest alone. Take care of yourself, my brothers.